Here at the Midwest LSA Expo, I ran into an old friend and a publisher of a popular magazine. I'm going to pull one of those out here first. This is the magazine that Roy publishes. And uh, Roy does some other things too. Um, he's also the head of the U.S. Ultralight Association. He serves on the board of directors for the Light Aircraft Manufacturers Association. Now those things aren't what pays the bill, I'm guessing, but there's another activity that you do that does. So I'm Dan Johnson, I'm talking with Roy Beiswinger, and I'm holding a big piece of work in my hand that says very clearly whose book this is. And this thing is an impressive poem full of all kinds of information, beautiful illustrations, and all kinds of stuff about, well, what's it all about, Roy? Well, it's about getting your license for fire parachutes. Uh, your sport pilot certificate is what you're going to get sport going pilot through the course. Yeah. Exactly and this has, right. and why do you have to do a book like this? People have been training in these things for some time already. They have, so. and it's been tough. It's really been tough for people training because part of the problem is the information scattered everywhere. There's like about 30 different regulations, uh, documents, and what whatnot that the FAA demand not demands, recommends in their own practical test standard. In order to know. pass the test, you got to know all. This you stuff. should well. You need to have command of portions of all of them. And where to find the information. And where to like find that. it. Right. So you've put all that in this book, have you? I have. And so now it's all in one spot. That's well, it's part of what happened. I mean, actually, what happened is I was like the first examiner for powered parachutes okay. ever back in 2005. So that's a DPE, a designated pilot examiner? Designated pilot examiner. So I have sat through so many pilot exams where people have been suffering. I mean, you know, they'll have their pile of books because you're allowed to bring references with you. So they'll have. Uh, a far aim, they'll have a, a pilot handbook, they'll have a powered parachute reference, they'll have their own notes, they'll have, you know, and they can bring all this stuff, it's all valid they have with them. Okay. You ask a man a question, and then you, you get that woebegone look on their face, and then they start diving in, you know, just checking indexes and trying to find the right tab and the right document that has the right answer for that question. Very frustrating for the applicant, very frustrating for me, and I just somewhere along the line decided there's got to be a better way to do it. Just put it all in one book, cross-reference it, index it, and try to put, and then put some additional information in there too. Now I'm flipping here to the back because it doesn't have full conventional page numbers or does it? But anyway, you got to know how many, oh yeah, here it is. 300 and some pages, and that still leaves me quite a few left. That's all the uh, addendums and other documents and so forth that you've included, like the uh, FAR uh, Airman's Information Manual and stuff like that. Is that correct? Right. So a lot of stuff here, but you told me an interesting thing recently. So power parachute pilot, well, here you go. Here's the, here's the, here's the Roy's power parachute book. says right what it is. Can't hardly miss that. And, uh, and, and this is going to give it to you all in one place. All that's good, but that's been going on. Right. There's a new twist in the world of things right. going into into the air now, and I said it that way deliberately because I'm talking about drones. Sure. Okay, so we're not going to talk about drones in particular here, but all those people who want to do fly drones that, let's say, take pictures of houses for sale, Correct. which is a popular thing, and drones are real good at right. that kind of thing. I see the value in using them for that. But all those folks, if they want to do that for hire now, they've got to have a pilot's license, don't they? That's right. Anybody in the U.S. who wants to do commercial work with drones, and that's to get paid for doing the drone. Get paid for doing it, or it's part of their job somehow. Where you know, there's mapping people, there's uh, pipeline surveying, there's all types of things that are doing this. They have to have an exemption. Uh, they call it a 333 petition. The FAA has signed off on over a thousand of these now. But the problem is for these applicants is they get their 333 exemption and they read it and they discover they have to have a pilot certificate. The FAA does not. And these not people are not usually, they may be able to fly their little gizmo uh, like an RC airplane, only they're even easier to fly. Right. But that doesn't mean they've had a pilot certificate. 
No. And that means they don't know anything about how things work at airports like this, or That's how correct. pilots fly, right. or what they're looking out for, what their concerns are. So this is FAA's way of saying, look, here's how we solve that problem. Right, and that's what they're doing. And why does somebody, okay, so fine. They need to have a pilot certificate. Well, that means they gotta go fly something. Why would they pick a powered parachute? 12 days. Because it's faster, because cheaper. We can do it in 12 days. And so, and you've been doing some of that right. now. I think right. you told me earlier when we talked about this that you've had some people come to you saying, hey, I need this. That's right. Can you help me out and can you get me through the program? And it's worked beautifully, but the problem has been what you alluded to is, you know, they're going to come in for a 12-day program. They do not have time to do the read-ahead on 30 different documents. They already have their day job. They're already trying. You know, this is a thing they're wanting to do. They haven't been immersed in, in it until they come to us. And so getting everything into one place has been really, really They're helpful. coming to you as basically a total novice, knowing almost nothing, maybe about the use of their device and how that air affects it and whatnot, but... They don't know anything about the pilot side of things. They much. have not, in, in both cases, they had not even taken flight in, in car parachutes. The <laughs> classes we ran, they had these guys in, they had They were completely green. That's right. And 12 days later, they're going out with a sport pilot certificate? That's right. They, they got their training, they got their flight time requirements, they got their knowledge tests, they got their check ride, of course the recommendation for a check ride, they were able to get all of that done. And a lot of it has to do with the uh, the, the, the quicker train up you're able to do with a powered parachute. Sure, less hours required. Twelve hours of flight instruction is required. Actually only ten of flight instruction and two of solo. Okay. And, and, and in that time, which is an, an amount of time you can get through in a n number of days, like you said, right? And then you can go over yeah. the sport pilot certificate, back to your drone, back to your business, doing what you're doing, right? And that's part of the reason why you created this thing. It was a big part of it. There's other things going on. You, we've talked about Skyrunner before. They're, they've got a big startup. They're breathing some life into the sport. A lot of instructors are getting. I think. I think there's a lot of things just going on that they told me. You know. Finish this up, Roy. It's time for this. Well, this is a this is a big dang book. I mean, the camera probably not going to show that too well, but I'm just sort of flipping through the pages, and I guess I could do it right side up for the camera's benefit here. But you can see this is this is a full color document. It's got lots of beautiful illustrations in it uh, that help. You know, pictures always make it a lot better than just page after page after page of black and white text. Uh, there is a lot. Of, I'm going through it it's sort of slow here, but I'm actually blazing through the pages. There is a lot of information in Roy's Power Parachute book. Where do we find out more about this? Where can people go on the web to buy this thing? Uh, we have a website set up just for the book. It's PoweredParachuteBook.com. Okay. Tell us about your magazine uh, 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 website as well so uh, people can find you about that. Yes. Yep. This publication here comes out every month. That's uh, PSF and got lots Magazine. PSFMagazine.com. Right. Okay. And uh, USUA. Give us that as well. USUA.org. All right. Well, there's Mama. And Lama, L A M A dot B Z. There you go. And that is about everything in the world of Roy Bicewinger. <laughs> that is a lot. Too. There's a big yeah, book here. Really and maybe some more books coming, I hear. Yes. I, one of the opportunities that's come of this is a, a lot of people are wanting other things documented in a similar fashion. I mean, one of the things that we've done with this that no other FA, no other flight instruction book has done. Everybody focuses on the knowledge test. We focus on the check ride. So we actually have the practical test standard in the back. Oh, is that right? Okay. Cross what they're going to have to do for people That's who right. don't know, uh, what you have to do to pass the test. That's right. And we have that cross reference with the chapter and verse in the book. Beautiful. So yeah, so it ends up being a pretty good resource. Nicely done, Roy Weisswinger, the man behind Roy's Power Parachute book. You can find lots more about what Roy does. You can find more about the aircraft that he is teaching you to fly here, and lots of other affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Roy and I here at the Midwest LSA Expo in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Very good. Thank you, Dan.